Joining us, Mr. Sibyl, uh, how do you read the Supreme Court's order today telling the State Bank of India to divulge all, I repeat, all details of electoral bonds? Do you believe the veil of secrecy that existed between donor and political party or beneficiary will now be fully exposed? Will the matching be done as a result of these details or is that left to journalists and indeed uh, perhaps activists to do? Mr. Well, Zippel. I don't know about that, but certainly the donor's name will be known. We'll also get the alphanumerical number, uh, which is the unique number of each bond, uh, both issued at the time when the purchase was made and, and with the political party. So the alphanumeric number will match, and to that extent we'll get to know that this bond went to a political party. Sir, but the reason I'm asking you this is because the suggestion is that even with this alpha numerical number, State Bank seems to suggest, or their counsel, Harish Salve, said it's only for security. It's not an audit trail. The critical question, therefore, is of the audit trail involving matching donors with a political party. I repeat, sir, do you really believe that this will now happen? Or will it be up to an individual party to disclose their donors who gave them this money? You must understand, uh, uh, Rajdeep, that at the time when you purchase the bond, there is a particular bond with a particular alphanumerical number, right? Mm -hmm. That particular bond with that number will ultimately reach a political party. Yes. Right? Yes. Who would have got the bond? Yes. Right? And then encashed it, redeemed it. Right? So therefore, the party which redeemed the bond will get to know as to who, who Mr. gave the bond to him. No, Mr. Sibyl. And the party who purchased the bond, the bank knows who that party is. No, no, but Mr. Sibyl, the Now, in between, there may be several transactions. Mm -hmm. We're not concerned with those transactions. But we'll get to know that this particular bond of this amount was given to this particular party. No, you're, you and this was the name of the purchaser. Mr. Sibyl, the fact And in is, most of those cases, the purchaser's name will actually be the donor. Right, Mr. Sibyl, but we've already got cases. political parties, and for example... Course, no, no. There are, you see, there are separate, several categories of bonds. One mm -hmm. category is you do a rate, you do a rate... One second, hold on, just mm -hmm. let me explain. You do a rate, and ED does a rate to a particular person. Mm -hmm. Within a few days or a few months of that rate, that person gives the bond. Now, there's no problem with that. Yes. Because we know who the donor is, we know when the rate took place. No pro issues on that. Yes. So that's not a problem. Then there are another category of, of, of bonds where the bonds are directly given to the party. There's no problem there. There may be a third category of bonds where the bond has changed hands. Now, you may not get to know then who the in-betweens were. So I think that I think it's too early for me to say uh, that we'll get all the information at once, but there's enough information to show a quid pro quo. I'm, I'm going to come, Mr. Sibyl, to the quid pro quo that you're mentioning, that you believe quid pro quos will get exposed. Uh, but the fact is, Mr. Sibyl, you've got, interestingly, a few parties who've already disclosed the names of their donors, for example, the DMK, but others, the major national parties, have not. Do you believe that every party's veil of secrecy, whether it's BJP, Congress, Trinamool, Congress, BRS, will all be lifted as a result of what the Supreme Court has asked for? Or do you believe there is still many a slip between the cup and the lip here? Uh, see, Rajdeep, I, I am not. I mean, I possibly don't know the trail, but there will be many cases in which we'll know the name of the purchaser and we know the name of the donor. Mm -hmm in many of these cases, because there will be a direct, direct transaction mm -hmm. between the person who gave the bond to the political party after an ED raid was committed, mm -hmm. or a person who directly gave the bond, for example, big companies directly gave the bond uh, to, to the political party concerned. But mm -hmm. there, may, there may be transactions where that, that trail may not be established. So, uh, you know, I can't possibly give you a blanket answer uh, that every, every, every bond purchaser, every bond's donor will be disclosed. But by and large, we'll get enough information uh, to, to suggest that uh, this was, uh, these are proceeds of crime and this, this, is, this, this is unfortunately perhaps the biggest scam that's happened in the history of this country.
No, That's one minute. You're calling it the biggest scam, possibly in independent India. You've used the word quid pro quo, but there are those who are saying that actually the electoral bond was a more effective way for corporates and individuals to donate money to a political party. It was not being done underground through cash, and that was preferable to the earlier system. How do you respond to that? No, the cash. How? Again. How do you interpret that? Again, cash, cash. You're asking the wrong question. This bond that is given to a political party is nothing to do with cash. Sir? Cash is used by political parties in any case. Yes. Because the maximum that any member of parliament can spend in an election is 95 lakhs. But what he spends in many states in this country and some of the states where there are mines and other things is in crores, hundreds of crores. Do you think that is done through bonds? That's precise. So that's precisely that cash the is point. In any case spent. And if you wanted to have a scheme, hold on. If you wanted. Mr. No, 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 Mr. Simple, what I'm saying is you've used the word yes, quid you pro quo and question, scam. Please. Are you telling me, Mr. Simple, every electoral bond that was given, or possibly many of them were in return for specific favors, when you say quid pro quo will be exposed and this is the country's biggest scam? I want clarity from you why you say that. I mean, I never make such blanket statements. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I never make such blanket statements. It's not the right. way I function in politics. But there are certainly, in the light of what has already come on record, mm -hmm. that in the case of people who were raided, in case against people who were being raided by the ED, and within months and within days, the, they, they, they purchased bonds and gave it to the political party and nothing happened thereafter. Now, if as a journalist you think that's not a quid pro quo, that's really something that you, you, you must you know, uh, uh, ask yourself that question. But from any standpoint, obviously, there is a quid pro quo there. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't say that in every case there is a quid pro quo, but the fact is that the scheme was not transparent. So if a, if a, if a businessman or an industrialist or anybody else wanted to give money to a political party, he should have done it through check. That mm -hmm. was also allowed. Mm -hmm. Why did he not do it through check? Why did he have to go and buy this bond? Naturally, because the intent of the scheme itself was to ensure that the political party in power gets enriched, which is why the BJP has got over 6,000 crores Mil through these bonds, no, no, through this scheme. Mm -hmm. which allowed for non-disclosure of the donor. M Mr. Sibbal... It's obvious. It is obvious. You, you know, it what was you're to saying is the political party. The... It is called an electoral bond. One second, let me just tell you. Mm -hmm. It is called an electoral bond, but it's nothing to do with elections. No, no, but Mr. Sibbal, the Home Minister of the country, Amit Shah, says BJP is the single largest party of the country, dominant party. It's bound to get the largest number of monies through bonds. The finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, says the fact that companies which were raided then allegedly gave this bond money is an assumption that it's not necessary that the ED stop their inquiries against him. This is how the government is responding. How do you respond to what you're hearing from the finance minister and the home minister, sir? So then prosecute everybody. Point is, what is, what is it? I mean, I, the finance minister, I think, having been a finance minister uh, for so many years, if, if her wisdom tells her that after the raid, the money given uh, in bonds to a, to, to a particular party has nothing to do with a quid pro quo, I must I salute the wisdom of the finance minister. That's all that I can say, that I'm really amazed at her wisdom and something to be lauded. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't, it, 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 it's not consistent with common sense. That's all that I can say. And as far as the Home Minister is concerned, mm -hmm. if, if this, as far as the Home Minister is concerned, then all these people should have given to the political party without being, without, uh, and having their names disclosed instead of saying, we'll not disclose our names, we want this bond and we'll give this money to a political party. What prevented anybody? To, to disclose their names and give the money to the Sir, political party. Nothing prevented. No, no, nothing. nothing. Anybody from doing that? They could have no, given a check. No, no, nothing. Why did they have to buy a bond? No, no, nothing prevents them, Mr. Sibbal, but that's the nub of the issue. It's all very well for us here to say that, you know, corporate should or, or individual should give by check to political parties. But you know better than anyone else that people are reluctant in the past to give by check 
because they fear that, for example, if they give it to the opposition, the government of the day, whether at the state or center, may target them. Therefore, according to your old friend Arun Jaitley, who brought in this, anonymity was seen as a way to encourage political parties to give money, which otherwise would have gone underground and been given through cash. And the fear now is that we'll go back to that bad old system where the money goes underground because the Supreme Court has not yet given us a, a, a solution. No, no, not at all. You can still give a check. You can... Sir, sir. Uh, incidentally, sir, I, I sir. don't want to argue here. You can still give a check. If I want to give a money to a political party, and I've done so. In my capacity as a member of parliament, I've done so. And I've given a check. Sir. And I've disclosed my name to a political party. Mm -hmm. Nothing prevents anybody from... And I've not been prosecuted. Nothing prevents anybody from doing that. The fact of the matter the fear is that factors are prevents puerile about this. The fact of the matter is that every industrialist has a lot of work with the government on a daily basis. Some will have get contracts. Some will sort of, uh, you know, get favors, all kinds of favors. Uh, somebody would want his case to be closed. And, and therefore, you have a wonderful scheme in which you don't have to disclose your name and keep on giving money. And you think that the BJP did not know that they will get the maximum money? Of course they knew, because they are in power of the center. And through the exercise of that power, they can grant a lot of favors, as will be demonstrated very soon, because all these facts will emerge. So what? The so fact what is of the also matter is, this is a scheme through which the BJP wanted to enrich itself, and it did enrich itself. There's no doubt about it. And they knew that it would enrich them. And they never used any of this for elections. They did it, they did it to build their offices. One second. They invested this in their Mr. offices, in their national networks. Mr. Sibal. They built this with, by booking, booking uh, uh, airplanes, by, by, by getting people from one political party to, from flying to, uh, from one place to another. Mm -hmm. They did it for all this. The money, the money that is given to buy A, B or C to, to defect from a political party is not given by check. It's given by cash. That happens anyway. Sir, sir, I take your point, but the fact also is that regional parties are also getting a la large number of monies uh, in these bonds, disproportionate according to the Home uh, Minister when you compare it to the number of MPs and MLAs that they have. Many of the uh, parties, Trinamool, Congress, BRS have also got a disproportionate amount of money, DMK. So it's not as if it's just the BJP here, isn't it? You get know. I am not, look, look, anybody, any political party, if the scheme is actually launched, will take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. The question is not, the question is what was the intent of the scheme? The question is why the secrecy? The question is why non-disclosure? The question is why not bring it out in the open and give it to the party you want to give it in? Then you know what your affiliation is. Mm -hmm. What's the secrecy about it? And this is nothing to do with cash. This is white money. This is white money. And you can, I can give, I can give a donation to anybody I want in a political party. But the fact is, that is also not an issue. You can give whatever money you want, but you can't get favors for it. And if we are able to establish that, and that's a matter of investigation, then it's a very serious matter because then it's proceeds of crime. Then it's money laundering. Then the property has to be seized. Then but, all that, that the law, uh, the law will follow. Okay. Right. You know, you're saying presumably follow. that the anonymity is what is troubling you most. But may I ask you a final question, Mr. Sibyl? Do you believe that the Supreme Court, while declaring these bonds unconstitutional, while asking SBI for all details, should have also provided what's the way forward? You're into an election. How are you going to encourage corporates now to provide by check? Do you believe this will now encourage people uh, to once again take cash underground uh, because in, in India, whether we like it or not, no one wants their names disclosed that they are funding political parties. Should the court be providing an alternate system? Should there be next time when you appear in front of court, will you ask for a better system somewhere to be provided? Or are we doing out with the baby with Let the bathwater? Let me answer that. Number one, it's not the job of the court to provide any system. It's the job of the, of the, of the political establishment. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's not the remit of the court. That's not the duty of the court. So don't keep, keep the court out of it. Mm -hmm. Number two, I will tell you how it can easily be done. Let all these industrialists give them whatever they want to, do, uh, to donate. Let them give it to the election commission.
Okay, so you have, say, 6,000 crores to the election commission, given by all industrialists, all, all, all donors anywhere in the country. Then divide that amongst all the members of parliament mm -hmm. who are going to fight elections equally. Mm -hmm. And you have no scam. And you have donations and nobody will be prosecuted or persecuted. There are very simple ways of dealing with it. But if you want clandestinely to enrich yourself, then you float such a scheme, which is what they did. I've given you a solution, which is unexceptional. Right. Where there will be no, uh, uh, you know, nobody will be, will be, will be, uh, will be persecuted. Just give it to the election commission and distribute it amongst every member. And if BJP has more members, over 300 people, they'll get more money. But each member will get the same amount. Right. Right. Well, I, you know, it's and good. And it won't go to the party. Okay. No, it's good that you're giving that solution because the fear, of course, is that between rent-seeking politicians and companies and individuals seeking favors, the system has been corrupted. Now, you could argue that the uh, election bonds enable some to carry on with that corruption or legalized it in a way. Or you could say that, can we get an alternate system that will change the way campaigns are financed? But couple simple, as someone who's been involved in this case from the beginning, for joining me tonight, thank you very much uh, for joining me and offering a solution uh, that you have. Interesting solution there from Sibyl. Take all the, the monies and give it to all the MPs openly, uh, depending on, on the strength of each party. Let's turn, though, to the other big question. Should all these parties now voluntarily disclose their donors? Remember, the DMK and 10 other parties have done it. But why are the major parties not doing it? Are they hiding something on electoral bonds? Was the bond system devised for quid pro politics, as Mr. Sibyl seemed to allege? Is there a better system out there of campaign financing? These are some of the questions I will raise. Jay Prakash Narayan is founder Lok Sakta Movement that has pushed for anti-corruption. Adil Singh Bopara is spokesperson Congress. Uh, Dr. Sayed Zafar Islam, national spokesperson BJP, see a former MP. I'll also be joined by Dr. S.A.S. Hafizullah, uh, spokesperson of the DMK and Abhinita Mathur is spokesperson AAP. Thank you all very much for joining us. I'm going to come to each of you and I'll ask you to keep your comments brief. Uh, first to you, Dr. Z Zafar Islam, the BJP, 54% of the uh, of the bonds, more than 8,000 crores have gone to you since 2019, but you're not disclosing anything so far. The DMK has disclosed it. Why is the BJP not disclosing the name of the donors? Well, Rajdeep, the, the large share has to be there because we are the largest party. We have the maximum number of... Uh, MPs, sure. maximum number of MLAs, maximum number of a government state. And if you see most of the corporate who actually do, do political or, or do give pol donation to political parties, they have certain formula to follow. And the formula is based on the number of MPs each party has. No, so and why are you not disclosing the names? Find no, no, what, Dr. What Zafar Islam, Dr. Dr. Zafar Islam, I, 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 sure I that, take your point. Why are you not disclosing the names? If DMK can do it, why can't you? See, DMK, what DMK has done, what other party has done, it's not uh, applicable to us. No, why are you so not doing do what it? is appropriate, what is important for us, and what is, needs to be done. Why so do you think it's inappropriate? Why do you think, sir, it's inappropriate done, to disclose names? I'm, so why do you think it's inappropriate to disclose names? I'm saying that whatever names? needs to be... We need not... I didn't say that. I said whatever is appropriate, needs to be done, will be done. 